Hey everyone, thanks for stopping back to Peace Garage. Well, we're going to continue building our 440. We're going to be putting on our cylinder heads. Now, these are Trick Flow CNC ported cylinder heads. Let's take a quick look at these. I'll show you what the CNC porting looks like. And there's not much you're going to do by hand to make these cylinder heads much better. So, you can really literally just take them out of the box, put on the head gasket, and bolt them right down. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the way the heads came right out of the box. <clears throat> the only thing I did is I CC'd the head. And you can see that these are these CC down at 76 cc's per combustion chamber. You can see these are all machined real nice, clean. There's nothing you can clean up there that will make it any better. And in the intake runners, you can see that the CNC porting is really nice. So there's not much you're going to do to make these cylinder heads any better than they are coming right out of the box. So let's get them installed. All right, before we put the head on, last chance to blow out the cylinders, clean everything up, make sure that it's ready for the cylinder head and the gaskets. Now these gaskets are symmetrical which means I could put this on this way or this way. It doesn't matter. There is no side up. Usually there's sometimes a tab on the front that says this side front or this side up or something but there's absolutely nothing on these gaskets that indicate orientation and if I put this one on here the one that goes on the other side is going to go on the other side of the engine which means it would be upside down so you can see they're identical. They're symmetrical. So the head gaskets are symmetrical. Again, no need to put anything on your head gaskets. They're coated. They come coated that way. And I'm going to pick up one of these cylinder heads. And I'm going to set this in place lining up with these dowels. Now this is the last chance before you put the cylinder head on to make sure that your pistons are going the right direction. You look at the inside of the valve here, these valves, the intake and exhaust, and you look at the pistons, you see the, the large indentation for the valve or the relief here for the valve, and you make look at each cylinder, make sure the large valve goes to the large valve all the way down. That way, you're sure that you have all the pistons in the right spot, because occasionally you might put them in backwards, if you do. But these are all okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to line up on my dowel pins, and I'm going to gently Set this into place, just like that. Now I'm going to put my bolts in. Okay, I'm using ARP head bolts for this engine. I use them all the time. Uh, and if you're going to use those, here's a note for you. Uh, the, the washers that come with the, the bolts, on the head of the bolt, underneath the head, there is a, a fillet in there to make it stronger. And the washer, if you look really close, you can see on the washer there's a, a, a countersink on one side and the other side is flat. You can see that's flat on one side and there's a countersink on there. That countersink has got to be on the head side of the bolt so when you put this together that countersink is going to come flush up against the head of the bolt and it sits nice and flush. Now I'm going to run these down, take them down by hand and we'll get to torquing. Go up one more. I always count the bolts. There's, there's 17 bolts so I count. One, two, Three, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 15, and 17. Now, flip it and do the other side. Okay. And clean. Head gasket. on your head gently. Okay. People always ask, do you put lube on the head bolts or not? And I say you follow the manufacturer's recommendations. And ARP recommends that you lube the thread with their fastener assembly lube. The ARP Ultra Assembly Lube. So I'm doing exactly what they say. Okay, they're all looped up, all installed, now I can run them down. Now these power port 240 heads from Trickflow are the best cylinder heads you can get for your big block Mopar. 
they feature a CNC ported 240cc intake runner that's absolutely gorgeous. The CNC ported exhaust runners are 74cc's. The oil holes for the rocker arm shafts have been relocated to give better oiling up through the shaft to get more oil over the valves. Now these heads are available with multiple spring configurations and an optional upgrade for a titanium cap. And as we all know, if we can reduce the mass of the valve assembly and the spring assembly, the valve will close faster and we get less valve float at higher RPMs. Now that is it for our cylinder head assembly. We'll be moving on to the rocker shafts, hydraulic lifters, and setting our lash. And please, if you're not a subscriber, please click on subscribe and like my Facebook page because I post pictures quite often of, of the project as I'm building along. Uh, I appreciate all your comments and I appreciate all the conversation. And once again, thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.